Going live on Instagram is a great way for you to connect with your existing followers in a new and creative way. Whether you're looking to collaborate with other people, to show things off, do a haul video, whatever it may be, live streaming also comes with its own technical way and which is going to work best for you. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a full tutorial on everything that you need to know about how to go live on Instagram, not only from your phone, but with third party software. Hi, my name is Desiree and I'm here to help make social media simple for you. Now, whatever it is that you are doing, whether it's going live on Instagram or doing anything on Instagram, honestly, you need to have a content plan in place so that you can make sure that what you're creating is on par with the goal you're trying to meet. So make sure you go grab my free content planning worksheet that I have for you down in the description below. I also wanna note that this video is brought to you by StreamYard, who is going to be what tool we use for third party live streaming, which I will show you later. Because I respect your time and I know that you are here to learn something very specific, I have the chapters down below that you can pick from so you can go to the right part in the tutorial if you're looking for something different or specific. Okay, so on our phone, what we're gonna do is hit the big plus button at the bottom middle and we're going to hit live. See, we're already ready. So we're just gonna hit live. Now, when we're going live, we have some things that we wanna take into consideration. So we have our description here at the top. This is where we're gonna add the title to what our live is. So showing how to go live. When we're doing our title, this should be whatever like the thing is about and you wanna keep it as short as possible. Now going live is a great way for you to add additional sponsors and income to whatever you're doing on Instagram. But if you're also you're a brand, like if you're trying to work with a brand or like you're an individual and like you wanna represent your company, you can brand your own business in here as well by adding in brand partners. These are some of the brand partners that I have already built relationships with. So I'm just gonna add StreamYard to it since they are the sponsor for today's video. And I'm gonna hit the check mark and I'm gonna go back. Now, as you can see, I have the details added because it lights up on the screen. Underneath here, we're going to have like ad funding. So what these can do is if you're a nonprofit or you wanna support a specific company, you can add a company that you are going to encourage people to draw attention to and hopefully ultimately give donations to. For next, I'm gonna have this little people icon. So the people icon is gonna be where we can either say, we're gonna go public or we're going to practice. Practicing is really helpful if you've never done a live stream before. If you wanna like get familiar with how the interface looks like and what is going on. I'm actually gonna do this as a public live stream so that you can get the full effect for having people that come join you on a live stream. Next, we have this um, scheduling feature that we have right here, it's a little calendar. Now this is if like you wanna plan ahead and get this on here. Again, we wanna add our video title if we want to, to schedule this out, then we can hit our start time. So this is gonna be the date and time that you would want to go live. As you can see, you can do this up to three months in advance or a minimum of one hour. So it allows for you to build hype, have a link to share and promote and all that good stuff. So this is really helpful if you are planning ahead and you're just trying to build awareness about what you have going on for your campaign. As you can see, I have all of these little filters and things that I am able to add to my video if I want to have those as part of my live stream. Like maybe I wanna go live to talk about what Pokemon I am and continue to do this fun test. But I'm just gonna go back here to the live feature. Now let's talk about what's happening up here. So as you can see, I have 137 of my followers that are active right now. I have this little fire that I can talk about like with weekly live videos. It allows me to kind of know like how many weeks in a row I've gone live. It's kind of like an internal counter more than anything. And then we have our settings tab here. Our settings tab is gonna allow for us to add additional controls. Like we can adjust our camera, like if we wanna be on the left side or the right side. We can allow access to our camera rolls. We have just a lot of these other options where we can do more things if we want to with our live stream. So play with those if those are right for you and what you're trying to do with your business. Now, as you can also see, I have the little rotating thing, which allows for me to like show you like what's happening on the side of my screen, if that's what I want to do. But ultimately, this is kind of what I wanna do. So I'm gonna hit the live button. It's gonna give me a countdown of three, two, one, and then I am live. And it's gonna tell me I am live. And I am showing people like, showing how to go live. It has my paid partnership with StreamYard. Again, if that's something that you wanna do, you can see that here. Now, as you can see, I have these additional features right here on the screen. I have the mic, which turns it on or off. I have my camera, which turns my camera on or off. I can flip my camera right here, or I can have my effects here if I want to do anything special with my feet, okay? So you can see down below, I have like all these filters that show up here along the bottom. If you're joining the live, like thank you so much for being here. I'm super grateful. I'm doing this to show people how to go live from their phone and wanna give it the full experience. So maybe wave or comment if it's something you're interested in. As you can see, I just like did a little message to people so they knew what was going on. So you know why you're here and there will probably be a slight delay as well. As you can see, we are live and I can hit the X button if I want to tamp it, uh, cancel it. I can hit wave to somebody that has joined my live stream. 
okay? I also have these different camera options where I can add in other guests, okay? So if someone wants to request to join, like, so this is what someone would do if they were going to join me for collaboration onto my live stream, like if I'm gonna interview someone or have other guests, and you can have up to three other guests, including yourself, giving you like a nice four layout on here. We have questions, so if someone's going to ask a question on your live stream, it would show up under questions so that you can give it the attention that it needs as well. I also have this little send button where if I wanna promote it, I wanna share direct links with my audience that I have, I can put those in here and I can select the person that I would want to send it to. Now I have my comment section where I can comment with everybody about what's going on. I can post it. You can see there is my comment as well. So it's really how the interface for the live works. You just show up, you give a lot of great value, you connect your audience, you probably want this to be a longer video. You also have an option once this is over to save it as well, which we can go over in a second. So I'm just gonna hit the X button to turn off my live and I'm gonna end the video. And as you can see, I now have more pieces of information that I can do. I can view my insights, I can view it as a live archive, or I can just throw it away. So I would hit it in a live archive so that I can save it for future use. And I can also hit share if I wanna turn this into an Instagram reel that other people can watch as well. Again, if you wanna know about reels, you can go watch my video that I have in the cards where it's a full tutorial breakdown on how to do all things Instagram reels. You would fill all this information out and hit share. Okay, I'm just gonna hit share just so we can see it go live and, and where it goes. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna publish, it's gonna show up over here on my profile under my reels. Okay, now that we have gone over how to do this on our phone, let's go over how to do it over on the desktop. Now this is a new feature that is available um, as of 2024, and we're going to be using StreamYard, who is the sponsor of this video today. StreamYard is my go-to live streaming tool that I've been using for over five years for all my live streaming podcast recordings and doing a lot of video work. So pod, uh, using StreamYard is going to be the easiest way for us to do, let me say it again, so using streamer is gonna be easy way for us to do this. So let me head over to the computer where I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to go live from your desktop. So first things first is we need to add our Instagram as a destination on our streamer. So we're gonna go over to destination. We're gonna hit add destination and we're gonna hit this big Instagram live button that we have. We're gonna add in our username and we're going to hit add Instagram live. Now we're gonna go create. We're gonna do a live stream and we're going to select Instagram. Now, as you can see, StreamYard gives us a whole bunch of great information. So first things first here at the top, notice that we can go to the studio or we can upload a pre-recorded video. What's cool about StreamYard is that you could record your video vertically ahead of time that you could publish as a live stream onto your Instagram. The advantages of doing this is that you can then like do the comment section and be really active and have something to promote. The disadvantages is you can't address live comments in the recording, you would have to respond to all of those in the comments. So that's something to consider whenever you are doing this. So just for this case though, we're going to make it for studio. We're gonna add in our title and I'm gonna say tutorial for, oops, for YouTube, okay? And I'm gonna go down. Now what it's telling me is what the steps are that I need to do. So in order for me to do this, I need to actually go to Instagram on my desktop and work through some steps. So let's go into Instagram from my desktop. You of course will have to be logged in in order for this to work. You of course are gonna have to be logged in in order for this to work and we are just going to work through the steps, okay? So it's important to note that you also need to be an Instagram professional account in order for this to work. So it's gonna be like a business account or creator account for this to work. So you're gonna go to create and then you're gonna go to live video, okay? So we're gonna go to create and we're gonna hit live video. And as you can see, I'm just going to, just I'm doing a test and I'm going to pick my audience and I wanna make it public, practice or cancel, I'm gonna hit public. I'm gonna hit next. Now what it's going to give me next is going to be my stream key. My stream key is what Instagram needs right here for me to go live through the third party tool. So I'm just gonna go hit copy and I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to paste it in here. Now, as you can see, the instructions continue to help us. Like add a title, choose an audience, and then copy the stream key below. When we go live on Instagram from StreamYard, we also have to hit go live on the phone, otherwise it's not going to work, okay? So we're gonna create our live stream. It's gonna find our camera. This is my web camera. This is my YouTube camera. You'll need to click go live on Instagram after you go live on StreamYard. We're gonna go down here to settings and we're gonna go down here to general. As you can see, I can change this from landscape to full portrait mode. And you can see behind me that this has changed. 
Now I also need to change my layout so that it is not a solo layout so that I can be full screen or if I want to use a background to add extra depth, give a little bit more width to what I'm doing, I can do that as well. As you can see, you can see myself like a little narrower, like I could use this area and this area down here for branding or logo design and things like that. This is handy because then if I have my comment section down here on Instagram, I can maybe see it better if I want to change my background to maybe something like just a simple black. So as of right now, when I recorded this, this is the only way that you can do layout. We do not have access to these custom layouts at all for what we're doing. So as you can see, I have added in like a second guess onto my layouts. And what I can do is I can adjust my layouts based on, on this sort of feature that I want to maybe be doing, but I cannot create a custom setting as a time is recording for this. So we can just do something like this for solo, but this is obviously I think the best one because we're gonna be able to have both of our guests on here as well. We can have like the nice like name plate that we have here and all that stuff. Or if you go to this mode, we can be side by side and then you can see the comments down below really, really smoothly. And if you change the background, you can put a call to action up at the top of the screen as well. So I really like what you can do with StreamYard for live streaming that allows for this to work. Now, when we're ready to go live, all we have to do is hit go live here on StreamYard. And then we go into Instagram and we just hit go live here in the upper right hand corner over on Instagram. Okay, and now as you can see, when we're in here, we have all of the access to things, we have our comments and stuff. The thing that's important to know, so we're live in on StreamYard, we do not have access to our comments. So it's gonna be helpful for to us also have our comment section, like have like our, our StreamYard and our Instagram maybe side by side, so we can see the comments of like what's happening and stuff. We also have like the event log if we wanted to see like what's happening here and stuff like that. So this is gonna be really helpful for you when you're going live so you can see all the things that are going on and stay active. Now, once we are done with all of this, we're gonna want to say goodbye, shut it down, and then we're gonna do is go to end our stream, okay? So hit end stream. I would actually think you wanna do end stream first over on our Instagram, and then we're going to end it on our stream yard which means that you gotta make sure that your live stream finishes over on your Instagram first so that you can do what you need to do. Now that you know how to go live, what are some ways you can be using live streaming better to help your brand or business? Watch the video I have for you right here where I'm going to show you six unique, fresh, cool new ways for you to use live streaming to help you blow up your business.